Hi friends, it's me, Ali, your friendly neighborhood Chanel expert. Today we're talking about a sultry, bronzy Chanel Les Beige makeup look, and we're going to talk about a little bit of new skincare from the brand as well. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So to start off, I'm going to talk about this new Hydra Beauty cream for the eyes. This has replaced the gel product from the Hydra Beauty line. So Hydra Beauty is just hydration and illumination. There's no anti-aging or lifting and firming properties. So this has sort of existed before in the past, but it was in a pump and it was a gel. And this here, it's a, a fluid and it's called the Micro Creme Zieu, so Micro Cream for the Eyes. This is similar in texture to other micro creams from the Hydra Beauty collection. So if you look closely, you can actually see that there are little um, bubbles or balls of this micro fluidic technology in the product. And it's sort of like skincare encapsulated in these little um, spheres and there are moisture there is there is a moisturizer in the line here that's like this and now there is the eye cream so I, I took a lot here that is way too much for just the eyes but I'm just going to apply this here as you gently pat this on the skin these little spheres of skincare sort of just like burst you don't feel it or anything it just dissolves on the skin right away. And this is going to give you lots of hydration, a level of brightness and a bit of illumination as well. It's just, it's incredibly soothing, it's hydrating, it's really lovely. And so this one here, the new formula comes in a jar instead of a pump, which is sort of nice because in a jar you get to use up all the product in its entirety. When there's a pump, you sort of feel like there's a little bit of product left that you can never quite get at. But this is what it looks like. It does look hydrated, it does look illuminated. Like it looks very plump, very nourished, very hydrating. But again, this is not going to work on firming or lifting the skin or hyperpigmentation, but it's just going to give you like a gorgeous glass of water for the contour of the eye here. Let's move on to a face cream. I have the Hydra Beauty. This is the Camellia Water Cream. I've purchased this before. It's a really, really wonderful moisturizer. It's very hydrating and also incredibly illuminating at the same time. So I'll show you the texture here. You can see the difference. It's a thicker cream, but what's nice with Hydra Beauty is it's never too rich. There are richer cream options, but in general, it feels refreshing. It feels very light. It's a great line for summer because it's just, yeah, it's very refreshing without being too heavy. It's never too thick. And this one here, I've purchased it before. I remember it being very brightening, very hydrating, very nice. So this is my skin, just with skincare, I have nothing else on, and you can just see a level of glow and illumination. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fix my brows just a little bit, just add a little bit of definition because eyebrows help to frame the face. I always like to do eyebrows first because then I can sort of see where I'm going to place my makeup. So I'm just going to brush these with a bit of tinted brow gel. It's this formula that is very suitable for mature eyelids or basically if you're like the typical Chanel client that likes color or you know eyeshadow but wants something a bit softer. So this one here, it's matte, but it isn't a harsh matte or a dry cakey matte. It's just really soft and really lovely. And the brushes that I'm using, it's a dual ended brush from the brand. Everything is listed down below. I love this one here because I'm doing everything with just one brush here, just tapping the color on with this side and then blending it with the other. It's really great. It's like you're getting two brushes for the price of one, which is great and not something that happens very often with Chanel. So I'm taking advantage of this here. So I'm excited for this possible new release of these makeup brush sets from Chanel. I don't know when these are coming out. I heard July 7th, 
but I don't know if it's coming here in Canada, where it's coming out. So I talked about this in a will I buy it video and someone said that those sets, those kits look like corresponding nail polish colors. And now I cannot get that out of my brain. And in the photo, it looks like some of the brushes available are ones that I already own. Like it's this one here and then a blush brush and then a foundation brush. I'm really curious if those are the brushes that come with those sets or if it's an example of the brushes that fit within the sets or if there are other brushes available because I already own those ones. So I don't think I wanna get exactly the same, but I like the idea of a travel kit or how do I say it? Like a travel brush holder. Those are great, they're portable. They also look really cute on the vanity. I'm unsure about the colors. I like color, but I don't know what I would get. But now that someone said that they look like they match the nail polishes, that's all I can think of. There's going to be an event here for the Formula One in the city, because Montreal gets Formula One uh, festivals, parties, events, whatever you want to call it, every summer. And so a bunch of the makeup counters are doing events for that specifically. So I'm going to go to the Chanel counter and also the Dior counter on separate days for those events. But I'm picking up my new nail polishes from Chanel on one of those days. So I'll see if they have those makeup brush sets, but I don't think they have them yet. It could be one of those sneaky little releases that's not everywhere. How rude. Now I'm going into this color here and I am knocking off the excess on a tissue here just because I don't want it to be too, too intense. So this, you could shear it out. Like you could just tap it on like I'm doing here, but you could also shear it out with the fluffy side like this. And that's what I love about this matte shadow formula. It's matte, but it's soft at the same time. Sometimes matte shadows are really dry and they're a bit unforgiving and not that user friendly. Whereas this formula here, listen, it could be for some people, but not for everyone because some people want more intensity. But for me, I like it for what it is and I, I'm still able to achieve the looks that I want. I'm going into this waterproof liner here called number 20 Espresso because I want something dark, but a dark brown I find is just going to melt into this a bit more because I want it to be sort of sultry, but also like, is she wearing makeup? I can't really tell. So I'm just going to sort of blend this into the top lash line here. And then I'm going into the top waterline like this. Like it looks kind of crazy, but you're going to do this and this is going to make your lash line on the top look thicker. And you're just sort of placing it where your waterline is, closing your eye and then gliding it just like that. And that does make a really big difference. I'm just going into the top shade here with this fluffy side of the brush. And I'm just going into a crease just to mix the colors together. And so far, the entire look has been created with just this one brush, but it's dual ended. So you really get two brushes in one, which is nice. I might use another one here in a second, but so far I've come this far with just one. I traced a little bit of espresso on the bottom lashes here. Now using a tapered pencil brush, I'm going into this color here. Now I'm placing that eyeshadow on the eyeliner and I'm blurring that together. And I, I'm not going all the way in. I'm going maybe two thirds of the way into the eye here with this darker color. I just applied a black mascara. This is the YSL Lash Clash. Use any mascara you want. I went with black even though my eyeliner was a dark brown. I think a black mascara always looks the best, unless you have extremely fair, naturally blonde, naturally blonde hair and lashes, you could use a brown, otherwise go with a black, it will still look very melted together and very sultry. Now let's move on to the complexion here. I have a couple of items. I'm going to use the new Le Beige Healthy Glow Cream here. This is the rosy beige. I've done a couple of videos on this already. I know that this is still very elusive in the US as I'm filming this. Hopefully it's 
landed stateside soon. I don't know why this isn't available in the US right now. I'm in Montreal. So yeah, it's basically just like a great, well, it's a multi-use product. It's a primer. You can use it as a corrector under your eyes. You can use it as a highlighter as well. But I use it primarily as a primer here because it sort of just blurs a lot and buffs and offers a little bit of coverage. It sort of just evens out the complexion here. And I like to apply it with a big kabuki brush just to buff everything in. Then I tap in just a little because it has, it's called rosy beige. So it has a little bit of rosiness to it. So you can color correct a little bit. It's not going to be a concealer at all, but it does offer a nice, a nice slight color correcting. This is a great multi-use product. It would be great for travel. I can't believe the US doesn't have it yet. I'm also really disappointed that there's only one shade. I mean, it's a great product, but it's not going to be for everyone. Obviously, look at the color. I think they should definitely make this permanent. It's limited edition and it should be permanent. They should keep it travel size for sure because it's a lot of product to use up but they should just come out with more colors because everyone deserves a sort of like multi-purpose, multi-use product. Like everyone deserves this. Now for the concealer, I'm going into my Le Beige Complexion Touch. I'm using the shade 30 here for my under eye. I have 40 for my face. This is a continuation of the Water Fresh Tint. So you take some on the back of your hand, you break it up like this and then you apply. This one has, I believe, three times the amount of coverage than the original Water Fresh Tint. I like both, but this one here is great as a concealer. Let's say you have super dry, crepey under eye, like no, no matter what you use, makeup or skincare wise, your under eye always looks dry. Try this as a concealer because it's like a glass of water for your skin. And as a concealer, it it highlights, it lifts, it illuminates, and it's incredibly hydrating as well. Moving on to the cheeks, I'm going into my cream bronzer from Chanel. This is the shade 390. And I'm using a blush brush because I like a bronzer not only as bronzer but also as blush. I find that it looks incredibly natural and it's going to lean into our bronzy glowing summer look here so i'm starting in the back here in my hairline just going on top of my cheeks here and adding a little bit wherever the sun would naturally kiss my face now i'm using my le beige healthy glow liquid highlighter this is the shade sun kissed this is so much highlighter i mean imagine how long it takes to go through a highlighter now a liquid one is even worse because it's so much more concentrated it's beautiful but i don't use very much of it this is what it looks like here let me blend it out that's what it looks like it's it's gorgeous but you really don't need very much so i'm just going to add some here just like that and i'm going to blend it using a different brush this is a bk beauty 110 i'm just going to Blend it softly here. And then just adding a little bit just to lean into my glow, my bronzy JLo goddess glow here. It looks really pretty. I mean, it is intimidating at first, a liquid highlighter because it takes just a little drop, but it melts into the skin really nicely. So this could be something you would enjoy. I mean, look, it looks very healthy, very luminous, but it doesn't look like, oh my god, she's wearing highlighter. It's just, uh, I look so healthy and bronzed, which is the goal. Okay, let's move on to the lips. I have a couple of options here. Here, I'm going to use something more nude -y. I have my Rouge Allure Nudes. I have 198 Nuance and 196 at Demi Mot. I think Nuance might be a bit too red. I think I might go into... A demi mot but they're both very pretty hmm please remember that the back of your hand is a palette and you can use this to figure out what you're going to wear i think i'll go into a demi mot 196. 
Now for the blush, I want to add a little bit of color, but I'm going to go ahead and just use my lipstick. So I just swatched a bunch of it here on the back of my hand, and I'm going to pick up a little bit and just add it on my cheeks. A little bit goes a long way, and please remember that it's always easier to add blush than it is to remove it. So go in lightly at first. Now I am going back into my Healthy Glow Cream here, just very lightly with a flat foundation brush, just to carve out a little bit because this can be a highlighter. I know when we think of highlighter, we often think of like luminous, glowy, but the thing is to highlight literally just means to add light. So you can in fact highlight with a matte cream product here. So I'm just going to Go here, really anywhere where you would like to add more light to your face. And for the perfume, I'm going into my Allure. This is the Eau de Parfum. This smells so good. It's sultry, it's woody, it's a little bit sweet. There's some vanilla. I think there's a little bit of patchouli, but I think it for me, it's the color. You know, it's like bronze, nudie colors and I think that this is sort of just going I was gonna go for bronze but I don't think this looks very bronzy to be honest I think it looks nice but not quite as bronze but it still looks nice it still looks good you know sometimes you have an idea in mind and then at the end it's a little bit different but it still works so yeah this is my look for a more sultry les beige makeup look for summer let me know what you think let me know what other products you want me to test out and review here on my channel if you're new i talk a lot about luxury beauty and a lot of french brands and i like to do tutorials mixing new and old i find it's a great way to actually savor and enjoy makeup releases without that pressure of like Bleh! buy everything new every eight seconds this way it's a bit more leisurely you can mix and match like with what you already have and a little something new every now and then i find it more pleasurable for myself and you also seem to enjoy it so if you're not subscribed, you are definitely missing out. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.